What's going on everyone? It's Rifle here and I know, whoa, wait a minute, you're not an actual rifle. I know, I know, I'm just kidding. That was a little cheesy. But anyways, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys tips and tricks and also glitches that I wish I knew when I first started Destiny 2. Hopefully this helps out a lot of PC players because I know a lot of PC players are new to Destiny 2. Also, maybe this will help out some of you console players as well. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Lenovo. I would not have even had a chance to play Destiny 2 on the PC. Well, I would have, but it wouldn't have been this great, let me tell you that much. My uh, PC setup wasn't the greatest, and I've came a long way since I have first started. Yes, this right here that you're seeing, I literally had my keyboard and whatnot on like a milk crate. I didn't even have a desktop. I was using a coffee table and like a milk crate of some sort, a holy crate. But yeah, real quick, thanks to Lenovo, I'm now rocking this setup. Well, not everything you see here, like the controller and the microphone and whatnot, but this monitor was sent from them. Down here, this freaking sweet keyboard, this mouse, even this mouse pad, and also this rig, check it out. And by the way, I'm not really used to playing with keyboard and mouse, so I'm gonna be using the controller on the rig, just letting you guys know. But yeah, this gameplay you're gonna be seeing will be from this computer and if you guys are interested in purchasing this computer or any of this equipment that you just saw i have links down below in the description for you guys to go check out if you know maybe you want to purchase some of this equipment anyways let's go ahead and get into this already all right so to start this off this might end up making a lot of players mad just because there's quite a bit out there that have spent real life money on silver to purchase bright engrams which you don't really have to do this game isn't a pay to win once you hit max level, each time you level up your experience bar, you end up being rewarded a bright engram. As you can see here, I have tons on my main accounts, and you can decrypt these bright engrams to of course get bright dust, and as well as some other cosmetics. And also you can dismantle your sparrows that you end up getting, and ships to get bright dust in return. So keep in mind guys, no, spending real life money on this silver is not worth it, because over time, you'll end up getting this stuff anyways. Anyways, next up I have you guys the Lost Sectors, which can be pretty difficult to find if you don't know that they are located on your map, as you can see here. If you go to these destinations, you'll end up finding what are called Lost Sectors, which are marked on the map once again, and in the actual game, as you can see here. And you'll end up getting rewards out of this after taking out the boss. Once you take out the boss, you'll get a key code that can allow you to open up the chest. Keep in mind you can farm these lost sectors by simply going to the loading zone. As you can see here, for example, as soon as Siren's Watch popped up when I was exiting out of this lost sector, I immediately turned back around and grinded this again. Keep in mind each lost sector can only be farmed twice. If you try to do this three times in a row, well you will notice that you won't get anything out of the chest once you take out the boss, as you can see here. But it's pretty important to note and take advantage of that you can farm these twice. I mean, you are able to come back here eventually and get some rewards from it, but you're going to have to leave the area completely in order to do that. You just can't simply go to the loading area and then immediately just turn back in here and try to grind it because that isn't going to happen. Anyways, next up I have for you guys the public events. This is very important to know that you can turn each public event into a heroic event by doing something specific. The easiest one that I think, in my opinion, is the one located on Titan at Siren's Watch. Because here you can do this easily at a low level. The reason why is because how you turn this into a heroic event is by taking out the Fallen Walker's leg and each time you take out the leg of the Fallen Walker, these blue orbs will spawn in and you just gotta deposit these into the things that are around this shield that is blocking you from getting the Scorch Cannon. And once you end up depositing all six into these things, you'll end up triggering the heroic event which gives you more experience and better rewards from the chest. This is how you can get fast exotics, just by grinding these public events and turning them into heroic events. The fourth thing in this video that I want to show you is a trick that you can do. Once you complete a heroic event, it doesn't matter which one, as you can see here, I'm on Nessus doing this one currently, but if you immediately go to the map and spawn back into the area that you're at, you can get lucky enough sometimes to have the public events already be there again immediately. So this is a way to pretty much duplicate the public events over and over if you're fast enough. How this works is basically once you complete this public event in the instance that you're at, if you are fast enough, you can go to another instance and there will be the same public event here that you can do again. It's a pretty nifty trick to know to get fast rewards 
from these heroic events. Keep in mind, the public events are just not worth it. You get tons more experience and better loot, once again, from the chest. So be sure to turn each public event into a heroic event. In case you're wondering, how do you turn pretty much every public event into a heroic event? I made a guide in the past explaining how to do this. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below in the description to that video so you guys can know how to turn each public event into a heroic event. Lastly, up in this tips and tricks list, I have for you guys the fire team medallion. Now, for those of you that don't know, this consumable helps out a lot. It increases XP gains and loot for you and the members of your fire team from strikes, public events, and the crucible. Not to mention, it lasts up to four hours. And keep in mind, this can stack up to two times. If you use the consumable, and if someone else in your fire team uses it as well. I did not know this when I was first starting out, and I would love to have known this. Sadly though, it doesn't stack up to three times, but hey, two times is good enough. But yeah, this is about wrapping up this list. Hopefully some of this that I shared with you guys was new and ends up helping you out. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen, and until next time, peace.